Hello and welcome to my second Minecraft video for the channel. Here, we open up, wasting no time at all, inside 1 KT Center of 39th Street Slicken, facing westward, looking towards the middle core. Last time, we took the jet elevator up to the observatory. This time, I'll give you a mini tour of the floors under construction, via Stairway A. Yep, that's right. Although the building was opened on March 21st in Canon, it still wasn't finished. Here is the third floor, with slender windows and a vast amount of office space. As you see here, the windows on this floor haven't even been installed yet. This is the fifth floor as indicated by the sign. Let's keep going. This is the ninth floor, where the university will be installed. Yeah, it'll be pretty high up, but not as high as the observatory. Here, you see the location of the first classroom, with seats, a lectern, I love these things, and some soul smoke next to it. Because many of the upper floors have not yet been installed, the smoke is not yet a fire hazard, as it is allowed to simmer out a few floors above this one. Let's continue to proceed. As you can see, I've placed lanterns in the stairway just in case of an emergency. That way, evacuants can see where they're going. We are now on the 11th floor, which possesses a double-doored system. It wasn't me just trying to add cool aesthetics, but an accommodation due to the floor height change. The windows change from 5 blocks to 7 blocks, so therefore I had to reformulate the stair pattern. This floor isn't even completely filled in yet, so I still have a lot of work to do. This core isn't even finished yet, what am I talking about? Yo Skeleton, what are you doing? Uh, KTPD, yes, it's me. I like to report an unauthorized trespasser in the building. Him being this close to the exposed jet elevator is surely a safety hazard. Yo, get over here ASAP. The only reason why this elevator should ever be broken is in the event of a fire in order to flood out the floors and extinguish said fire. Of course, we won't be doing that on stream. Look at all this exoskeleton with unfinished bracing. This is crazy. As you can see, doors have prematurely been installed in the core for the future floors. Yeah, I say that the tenants should avoid taking the stairs for now. Let's get a better look at the core. Ah! Uh, in case you don't know what happened, I just fell off the, um, the unfinished floor. What we're going to do is we are going to ignore that, okay? That is typically something Night Eagle would say. Oh yeah, if you haven't, you should check out Zach and Night Eagle. They got a really cool channel going on. Let's keep climbing these stairs now. All right, we have arrived at the Sky Lobby, the 22nd floor. No windows here either. As you can see, the ladder and hole stop here and continue in that corner over there. This is the biggest core location in the entire building due to stairway and exit placement transitions. We are now entering one of my mini storage rooms that I've set up throughout the building. Let's keep going. We're going to go to the 23rd floor, the planning center. So we have now transitioned from stairway A to stairway B. Hello villager, how you doing? Here is the planning center where my personal offices will be installed in the future. We got stairway C over there, we got the two holes there. Let me close that up real quick. There we go. These two are already finished. The disk space planning room and the fanning planning room. You don't need to see inside, however. 
That's the only room this high to have window panels installed therein so far. Look at these villagers just chilling up here. I actually need you guys to move though. I need to get to the upper floors. Let's skip the combat room for now. I don't think you want to see what will go on in there. This is where floor 25 will be, aka the restaurant Sky Eats. look at this poor fellow. I sympathize with you because the zombies got you, but at the same time I have to kill you both for the safety of my non-infected residents. Although you didn't see it, it was my trident that killed him, not the heat of the sun. You did see he stopped burning, right? I hit him with that trident and he was dead to go. Gotta tell you, man, I love how this floor twinkles. This is gonna be a great restaurant one day. Back on Broadway yet again. Here's the planetarium location once more. I'm not gonna say much here as you guys saw all of this already. Look at that villager chilling up there. You also see the test elevator outside the building. Here's the emergency hole, pause, which takes you back to the sky lobby, floor 22. In the original design, it was supposed to take you straight to the lobby. I still have that original design on my tablet, but I altered the feature due to the fact that the water elevator practically serves the same purpose. This time, Let's take the ladder up to the deck instead of the escalator up to the deck. We are now 186 blocks above the surface. At the time of this recording, this is the tallest building in Slicken. But that will change once I finish building the World Trade Center model, not too far from here. Here is the world famous golden antenna that I told you guys about before. Still a bit skinny in my opinion in comparison to the building itself but only so because the observation deck took up a lot of space. Now you can see the campfire and lightning rod for yourself. At a height of 246 blocks, all the villagers look like ants from here. Absolutely incredible. Alright, thank you for tuning into this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next video in the continuation of the KT Center series, which will be entitled Office Space. It will be very similar to this one, but by that time, the building will be finished with all this floors installed. I'm going to give you a little tidbit of a spoiler and tell you that these videos were recorded previously. And by this time, all of my projects have been completed. So just keep that in mind. Please subscribe and stay blessed.